And so this is part of a letter that was written by Clarissa Bincola Estes, the woman who wrote Women Who Run With Wolves. And I find this really inspiring, and I hope you will too. It's called We Were Made For These Times. My friends, do not lose heart. We were made for these times. I've heard from so many recently who are deeply and properly bewildered. They're concerned about the state of affairs in our world now. But ours is not the task of fixing the entire world all at once, but of stretching out to mend the parts of the world that are within our reach. Any small, calm thing that one soul can do to help another soul, to assist some portion of this poor, suffering world, will help immensely. It's not given to us to know which acts or by whom will cause the critical mass to tip towards an enduring good. What's needed for dramatic change is an accumulation of acts, adding, adding to, adding more, continuing. One of the most calming and powerful actions you can do to intervene in a stormy world is to stand up and show your soul. Soul on deck shines like gold in dark times. The light of the soul throws sparks, can send up flares, build signal fires, causes proper matters to catch fire, to display the lantern of soul in shadowy times like these, to be fierce and to show mercy towards others. Both are acts of immense bravery and greatest necessity. Struggling souls catch light from other souls who are fully lit and willing to show it. If you would help to calm this tumult, this is one of the strongest things you can do. There will always be times when you feel discouraged. I too have felt despair many times in my life, but I don't keep a chair for it. I will not entertain it. It's not allowed to eat from my plate. The reason is this. In my uttermost bones, I know something, as do you. It's that there can be no despair when you remember why you came to earth, who you serve and who sent you here. The good words we say and the good deeds we do are not ours. They're the words and deeds of the one who brought us here. In that spirit, I hope you'll write this on your wall. When a great ship is in harbor and moored, it is safe, there can be no doubt. But that's not what great ships are built for. Amen.